Hey folks, TNT Neon here. <coughs> this is going to be a uh, tutorial on how to wire up your ESE and ST converter to convert your, br your brush MCPX over to a brushless MCPX. <coughs> First, <coughs> the way I had it set up before uh, I had the blue wire from the Steve and the red wire from the Steve put up to these two wires coming here uh, one of the two wires out of the three here on the ESC um, well some people MCPS is not working with that and some people was working with that so it seemed to think that it might be uh, a different type of board that Horizon was using to do this. <clears throat> so, what one of the guys from Heli Freak came up with, I was talking to him on the phone, and he came up with this idea, uh, and he called me back, and let me know that it worked, <clears throat> was to get a good enough power current from from the battery to the Steve converter is to basically take the blue wire here from the steve sold it directly to the negative side of the battery leg along with the negative side of the speed control directly to the battery leg negative side of the battery leg to the main board then take the red wire and do the same thing from the from the Steve converter red wire directly directly solder it to the positive side of the board <clears throat> of the battery lead of the board also take your uh, of course take your power side of your ESC and solder it directly to the board also take the red the take the white wire from the ESC solder it directly to the white wire of the Steve connect alright then some people are taking the yellow wire and soldering it you can't see it but sawing it to a little resistor here on the back side of the board but what I did was soldered the yellow wire here to the positive side of the main motor plug and took the resistor and soldered one side of the resistor to the positive side and one side of the resistor to the negative side. <clears throat> okay. Now, with that said, this should give you all a direct current to the Steve Connect. Um, the new Steve connectors that that they come out with, with Steve come out with, do not need a resistor. All it needs to be done is, as I said in the first part, take it, it, the wire will be black on the new Steve. <clears throat> Either you have the old Steve with the blue or the new Steve with the black, solder them directly to the battery lead on the negative side of the board take the red and sort it to the positive side of the battery lead on the board take your negative of the ESC once again saw it to the negative side take your positive of the ESC and sort it to the positive side of the battery lead on the board that's where you have a straight up good connection, good power lead to your uh, Steve converter. So that is a short tutorial tutorial on how to wire uh, the Steve board up. I hope this helps because there are a lot of people who've been asking email, sending me emails wondering how to do it and once they do it it's not working so this should help uh, help that out help you out with that once again 
take the blue wire or black wire from your Steve, be, depend on what Steve you have, either way, take the blue or black, solder it directly to the negative side of the ESC, I mean of the battery lead. <clears throat> The, the negative wire of the ESC also to the negative lead of the battery leg on the board. Take the positive of the, e of the ESC and the red wire of the Steve and solder it directly to the positive side of the board. This is so you can get good current flow to the Steve. If you're using the old Steve I used a resistor, positive side of the main motor board to negative side of the main motor board. The yellow wire I soldered to the positive side of the main motor board, main, main plug of the motor bo uh, of the board. So here it is right here. All right. I hope this helps. As I always say. God is good all the time. TNT out.